Ladies and gentlemen, we will stay in Glory's lightweight division for our next bout, also scheduled for three three-minute rounds. He made his Glory debut in Dusseldorf last October. Make him feel welcome, Arthur Sawadiak! <laughs> Joe, how would you describe this guy? Well, the one word is toughness, and he's a former lift-weight champion, which means he's fought with no gloves, headbutts, and elbows. So he's bringing this toughness into kickboxing, but he had a tough debut against Vlad Tuvanov, but he's changed camps here in the UK, and he says he's improved his stance, his style, and you're going to see a completely different fighter here. Today. He is the Polish assassin. His opponent is set to make his fifth glory start after a successful debut in Leona Glory 60. Here comes Garrick Belay. Garrick Belay promises to be more active tonight. Says he's not just going to give you more combination. He's gonna give you four punch combinations. Yeah, he's one of my favorite up and coming fighters to watch. I mean, he fights hard, he's got good combination, he looks for finishes, and he's not intimidated. I mean, his last fight was against Handoof, who we just saw, and he lost the split decision. So, this is his fight back uh, to kind of really showcase his power and try to get a good finish here against the White Man. Here's our tail in the tape for this lightweight battle, 154 pound division. Garrick Belay, one of Joe's favorite young fighters, only 23 years old, 5'11", 72 inch reach. As for the Polish assassin, he's 28, 5'11 and a half, and 71 inch reach. Professional experience, six fight edge going to Belay. And both guys with good knockout percentages, 44% you know, for Belay, so why do you act 40%? Both guys want to finish tonight. We are set for three three-minute rounds in Glory's lightweight division. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, a former world lightweight champion who has a professional record of 20 wins, eight losses, two bounce scored even, and eight career knockouts. At five feet 11 and one half inches, 1.81 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 153.7 pounds, 69.7 kilos. Fighting out of Poland by way of the United Kingdom, here is Artur, the Polish assassin, Sawadia. <laughs> now his opponent, opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a karate black belt and an ISKA amateur French national champion. His professional record stands at 32 wins with just four losses and 14 career knockouts. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at 154.1 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Burgundy, France, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Garrick Bellet. And once again, the referee in charge of this bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Do you have any questions? Touch gloves if you like. Push back. Push back. Judge, judge, so judge, timekeeper. His toughness won't be enough. I have to be better. My footwork and balance have improved greatly. I'm not going to react to punches the same way. He's in the black gloves. Derek Belay Fight. from France in the white. Belay, a French national champion. Said it was the Rocky movies that got him in interested in martial arts. I think everyone got it. Yep. Either that or Jean Von Jean Claude Van Damme. Yep, JCVD, my guy. Right hand for Belay. And Belay is good with his hooks and his low kicks. He's going to change levels really well. But strong power start from Sawadiak. Really enjoying. This adjustment in the power style he's showing. The counter left is swinging a miss from Belay. Oh, straight right hand. Great counter from Belay, who's letting Zawadiak push the pace. 
Yep, staying defensive right now, trying to chop away with his low kicks, which he's known for. Yeah, that power Fight. in that low kick. Do you like Swadiak's aggression? I do. I mean, I know he's an exciting fighter. He wants to put exciting fights on him. To do that, you got to sit in the pocket and throw. Born in style, that's his mentality. Yeah, born in Gravisa, Poland, right near the German border. The leway champion. Left way murder to na native to Burma, and that is a tough man sport. Yep, head butts, elbows, no gloves. You can get knocked out and still get stand up and still have to fight. But the improvements in Swadiak are looking great. That balance, the power that he's talking about is really showing. Made a tough knee and then a body shot left to the liver for Belay. Ooh, change that right uppercut from Belay. Six body kicks landed for Belay, none for his counterpart. Yeah, right now, he's, Belay's using the high guard to low kick style, which I really like. Lock the punch with your guard, chop away. So that is keeping that high guard. His body is wide open if Belay wants to expose it. Yeah, and that's what Belay's doing. Just staying inside, mixing in that left body hook, and then rolling on. And the front kick right to the stomach. Swadiak looking good, man. Oh, he caught him with a right hand. Fight! Paul Nichols says that is not a knockdown. It was close. Break, I really like break. this start from Swadiak. Let's see if he can keep this up for two and three if it goes that far. Stop! <laughs> back on that right hand, but a good start for Swadiak. We'll see if he wins that round momentarily. Garrick Belay from Burgundy, France, former French national champion, won five of his last seven fights, and his last four glory fights is two and two in glory, but against tough fighters. His losses have come from Palandre and Hendu, but when he fights and he gets going, it's very hard to beat, and at only 23 years old, he's got a bright future. His, his partner, Arthur Sawadiak from Poland, the Polish okay. assassin. Signature strikes the body. And you see his coach here really mixing things up with him. And I really like the style they, they showed here. His balance is better, his footwork, the way he's, you know, mixing in his power. He's looking great in that first round. Okay, must stay Yeah, there's that one, two snapping punches from Belay, probably the best punch of the round. Fight! Round two. Sawadiak going 110 strikes that round. Everyone tonight is bringing the volume. Yep, tonight's about inside fighting and volume. No moving around. They say draw a line in the sand. Fight! Four judges scored that second round for Garrett Belay. One gave it to the Polish fighter. It's definitely a close round, though. Ooh, right on the ear, it stunned Sawadiak for a second. There's another knee to the jaw, and he's still standing. Not sure how. Break. I like Belay's low kicks. He's got to keep that mixed Fight. in, too. But right now, that left hook to the body and the right hand are doing the work for him. Surprise left Six, hand. Six, seven, eight. Goes up. We told Fight. you how tough this guy is. Let's see if Belay can put him away. Ooh. Break, break. Fight. Sawadak so still a little bouncy, a little wobbly on those feet. Touch the canvas. Paul Nichols says no. Nope. Belay, nice uppercut with the left. So Wadiak's got to get something offensively going here. We warned you about his toughness. Oh! It's me! Belay is hitting with everything! Break! I have break. no idea break. how Swadiak takes these shots. Fight. Look at him, he's still coming forward now. Swadiak does like the body they shots. Go. But right now Fight. it's Belay mixing it up. 
His recovery powers are unmatched. It's crazy the shots he took and he stood up. He watched his first fight, he was even in worse shape and kept going. Believe it or not. That's not to say Belay still can't finish him. Because he certainly can. Oh. Right hand, right on the temple. Sawadiak stands up. And look how smart Belay was. He ripped that overhand right, then he went to that left hook to the body. You have to follow up that right hand with the left hook. Ooh, back to the low kicks. I like that as well. Break! The one spot I see Belay vulnerable is when he holds his guard there and, and Swadiak throws the knees. So Swadiak can throw that knee to the head. He could maybe cut Belay or probably possibly get a knockout. Something didn't go right there for Swadiak. Stop holding. Fight! Might have been a leg injury of some sort. Yeah, because the lead legs hurt. Yeah. Stop! Let's see how he walks back to the corner. Yeah, that lead leg won't bend. The low kick's added up. Beautiful second round for Belay. And he was going right low kick, and then all of a sudden surprised Swadak with that left head kick. Belay, boom, jab to the left head kick. Perfect. Perfect. Usually guys, when they throw the jab, they go right low kick. Belay mixing it up and then just mixing angles. He found that right hand multiple times, tried mixing in the uppercut, landed some phenomenal knees as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's you're saying. Hey, you're, you're this height. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Five inches, got a leg more. Of course he's fine, Joe. He's Arthur Sawadiak, the Polish assassin. Yeah, he's not giving up. Come on. That's the kind of guy you want in a bar fight. fight. Because someone can hit him over the head with a bottle, beat him with a chair, and he's still standing up. Okay. Round three. Can he survive the next three minutes? Let's see how Belay goes to that leg, if he recognized it was hurt or not. No movement at all for Sawadiak. He is a sitting duck. This is where Belay can kind of pick his other shots now. Go to that left hook, go to the head kicks. And just show good timing on that low kick. Now to the body and then a high kick. If Swadiak can fight Southpaw, he might want to try it now. Switch the stance. The lead leg is in big trouble. Break! Break! Fight! Which, of course, hampers his offense as well. Defensively, he can't move, and offensively, he can't throw kicks. You can see him really staying heavy on his plant leg now. So that's why I'm saying Belay can use his left hooks now or his left kicks. And then as soon as Arthur steps down, just like that, you chop that leg. Good style from Belay. Should he almost be solely focusing on the left leg right now? No, you want to change the distraction. We all know the legs hurt. He's focused on it. He's being light on it. Put some punches to the head, rip the body, make him forget about the leg, just like that, and you're going to be landing them a lot more effectively. If you go to it without setting it up, so why do blocks it? So he's got to put punches together to land those. Oh, yeah. He tried to throw a kick oh. with the leg. It was not willing. Yeah, good work from the leg. Strategically setting it up. Break! Break! Fight! So Belay has this fight won unless he makes a monumental mistake. If I'm Swadiak, I'm using the clinch and knee. I'm getting inside, trying to grip the top of his head from a tie clinch and just kneeing right up the middle. Yep, there's Arthur now mixing in those knees. That uppercut there for Belay. Overhand right scores. Break! Break! Fight! The trip back to Poland will not be a pleasant one for Archer Saladiak sitting in a car or an airplane with that leg. You gotta give him credit. He did look good in that first round with some good changes. But you fight Belay. You gotta be able to sustain that for three rounds. 
Well, he is an action star, that's for sure. Artur Sawadiak, not going to get the win today, but will get much respect from not only Garrett Belay, but everyone watching here tonight. The official decision when we return to glory. Super Bantamweight Champion of the World! She is Anissa Maxson! Perhaps the greatest female kickboxer in the history of the world. Determined fighter wanting her belt back. And what a battle it was. Garrett Belay with most of the offense as Swadiak took all those shots. Yeah, Swadiak, first round was his best. Came in, power punch, looked really solid, showed good improvements. But round two, Belay started to pick it up, found the left head kick, started changing up levels really well. You saw him punching, head kicking, throwing the knees, but ultimately he continued to chop that low kick. And in the third round, we saw Swadiak limping back, and it was just that leg was too damaged to almost sit on his punches or get any damage, but landed some good knees in the clinch overall, and Archer Swadiak, one of the toughest in the in the Hall of Glory. Here's your final strike count statistics. Punches landed 114 for Malay. My goodness, 49 kicks as well. 170 total shots landed. Almost triple what Swadiak was able to accomplish. And they were coming from all angles, head, body, and legs. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores the bout 29-27. The four remaining judges all see the bout and score the bout the same, 30-26. A unanimous decision, all for your winner, Garrick Billy. I'm here with your winner, Garrick Belay. Were you surprised how tough he was to stand all those big shots? Is that you were surprised by the coup de pied that you had? Yes, I was very surprised. I didn't have the habit to put high kick. He came out naturally and he touched it. So I'm happy. Uh, I was surprised because it was not my, my, my way of, work, of boxing to make, to make high kick. And uh, for him, it's a new, new way of boxing also. Yeah. Well, give me your thoughts on your performance and what do you want to see from yourself in 2020? Alors, il aimerait savoir ce que, ce que tu attends de, de développer en 2020 et euh, est-ce que, est que tu penses, on va dire, euh, travailler certains aspects de ta boxe euh, Travailler surtout sur le volume, le volume et le cardio. Beaucoup de cardio, ça a toujours été mon point faible. Et voilà, travailler le cardio, cardio, faire de la piste. Voilà. Uh, he will, he will increase his uh, heart resistance and also he will uh, probably increase the, the, the volumes and quantity of the kicks, or number of the kicks. Well, congratulations on another win. We'll see you soon. Let's hear it for your winner, Garrick Belay. Belay, 33 and 4, and everybody in Burgundy, France, celebrating.
tonight as he picks up a win at the age of 23 years old. Coming up next, the former women's champion, Anissa Maxson. Back after losing her title, she'll square off against the upset-minded Jaquan Lee.